welcome back guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to set up daichi show android emulator front end on your device i'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation in the later parts of the video i'll be referring to it as the front end the front end is a retro launcher that lets us manage our retro games library it does not come with any emulators and roms in order to run any retro system using the front end its stand alone emulator needs to be already installed on our device if it's not already installed the front end itself will direct us to the play store page of the emulator it gives us different options to choose from you can download it for free from play store the device that i'm using is realme 9 5g speed edition snapdragon 778g processor i'll just install it all right this is the home interface you can see completely blank i'll be using the front end to run my playstation 1 and playstation 2 games let me just show you the settings not related to performance from here we can download the platforms this can be done from platform section as well if you tap on download platforms you can see all of the supported platforms a lot of them are supported and you can see appearance section we can download the platform wallpapers pack from here theme button sounds can be disabled or enabled from here hotkeys video previews can be disabled from here so i'll go back to the platform section i'll download playstation 1 and playstation 2 platforms i'll start with playstation 1 just tap on download platforms i'll look for sony playstation check it now tap on import on my device no playstation 1 emulator has been installed you can see there is no wallpaper for this platform you can get it from the settings i already showed you that so now we need to select the actual emulator for this platform tap on this pencil icon here you can see default player duck station has been selected just tap on this down icon here you can see the different emulators i'll just select epsxe emulator it's a paid emulator but i actually own it select it tap on save so now epsxe will be used for running ps1 games we also need to specify the directory where we have placed our game roms so just tap on paths here add more in the root directory of my mobile phone i have created this folder ps1 space r here i have placed my playstation 1 rom wws smackdown so i'll go back and use this directory use this folder allow finish now i'll tap on sync you can see a game has been detected so now i'll just tap on library there is a game my device is connected to the internet box art was downloaded by itself it also scrapes the metadata by itself let me just tap on detail you can see all the information video preview in the background so i'll just start the game now tap on play confirm it just opened the play store page of epsxe need to install it on my mobile phone tap on install i'll just configure the emulator will be using the virtual bios to run it so i'll just go to preferences bios preferences simulated bios i'll select enable i am also using the opengl plugin i'll just go to video preferences here i'll select opengl plugin smoother back to daji show front end now i'll try to start the game again epsx em later started using the hle bios the ss2 ps2 and red emulator is already installed on my device so just tap on platforms here tap on download right here look for sony playstation 2 then tap on import there is a playstation 2 platform 
again tap on this pencil icon here we need to select the system ether ss2 is already selected these are the different systems available for playstation 2 ether ss2 emulator is the right one the best ps2 android emulator play is also available you can see save now we need to specify the directory where we have placed our playstation 2 roms tap on paths add more in the root directory of my mobile phone I have created a folder and named it as ps2 rom in this folder I have placed all of my playstation 2 roms tap on use this folder allow finish tap on sync our games have been detected just tap on library and you can see our games are shown here I'll just run resident evil 4 its metadata should be loaded by now if you tap on detail you can see it here play confirm ether ss2 emulator should start you can see game launch directly I'll just configure the settings quickly I have not underclocked the ps2 cpu I'll select Vulkan resolution set to 2x texture preloading set to full hash cache that's it in my general setting I'll just enable all of the on screen display parameters default advanced setting I'll just scroll down quickly not using any of the hardware fixes disabled let's start the game back to the interface now if you go to the highlight section you can see your installed platforms here playstation 2 playstation x that is playstation 1 i'll end the video here guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day